Good morning, everyone, and welcome to morning prayer for Monday the 15th of June. The person that we celebrate um, today is Evelyn Underhill, and some of you may have read some of her wonderful spiritual writings. Um, And if you haven't, then maybe you can look them up and have a go. I think you might find them helpful. As you know, I've been... um, trying to show you something every week that helps me in my prayer life. Well, this morning I'm out on our little balcony that we have overlooking the canal. And some of you might, um, you can't see a lot of it. I've chosen to give you the little bit of the view through the trees. But I hope the beauty that is given to us in nature is something that will help you and bless you this morning in the way that it helps me and blesses me. And that at times of conflict or personal uncertainty, I often find myself drawn into nature and just contemplating that even that is not all wonderful. Mother Nature is not always kind. But I have found in God there is always strength. If you'd like to join in the words of uh, the service this morning, um, please just click at the bottom of your screen the uh, that's shown for you. So let's just be quiet for a moment. Or oh, before I do that, um, can I just explain that I'm overlooking the canal and the towpath? So I hope you get to hear some of the lovely birds but you also might hear people joking as they go along for a walk. So if they do, we'll just leave it. It's part of the background of our life and we can receive from God in all circumstances of life. So let's just be quiet for a moment as we bring ourselves to a time of prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful to those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower in the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from old and endures forever on those who fear him and his righteousness on his children's children on those who keep his commandment, his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Friends, the night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. going to use Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing I have asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter, in the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. God, our light and our salvation, illuminate our lives that we may see your goodness in the land of the living and looking on your beauty may be changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we're going to go down now. And say together the Gloria. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. I'm going to use, as usual, the Gospel reading this morning, and it's Luke chapter 12. Let's be still for a minute and focus our hearts and ask that God's Spirit will bring us the insight that we each personally need from his word this morning. Meanwhile, when the crowd gathered in thousands so that they trampled on one another, he began to speak first to the disciples. Be aware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark 
will be heard in the light. And what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that can do no more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs on your head are counted. Don't be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before the others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourself and what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's an interesting reading that, isn't it, from Luke's Gospel. Whenever I read that passage from Luke, there's always a temptation in me to stop after the verses about how much more worth we are than even many sparrows. It's such a comforting and strengthening thought we matter in some way. We can feel so insignificant in the world at times and so unable to bring about much change that that assurance can strengthen us. But it is followed by this other passage, which is much more difficult and reminds us that there are times of difficulty and darkness as well when we're misunderstood, wantonly spoken against, or when life is in whatever way hard for us. And Jesus tells us then, don't be afraid, because not only are you worth more than many sparrows, you will also be led in the right things to say and to do. Have confidence. Really trust our God in this day, whatever lays before us. Amen. And we will use the Benedictus. And I start with the refrain. You have set us free to worship you without fear holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all, old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, 
holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. It's come to the time now where we make our intercessions, when we pray for others and for our world. Let's have a few moments and consciously bring this day to the Lord. You may know some of the things that are ahead of you in this day, and maybe some things will happen that you don't even think of at this moment. Or maybe it'll be a very ordinary, maybe quite a boring day while we're still partially in lockdown. Oh, Father God, we give to you this day, this moment that you have given us. Father, we know that the only sure moment we have is this one. And we thank you for that. And we pray that you will help us to rejoice in each moment you give us, to live as fully as we can, and to be thankful and loving, just as you are towards us. We pray for all the ordinary tasks that are ours to do in this day, that make our lives work. And we pray, Father, for any that we come into contact with, that we may be a blessing to one another and refresh and feed one another in your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for our country. <clears throat> we pray, Father God, for all that we have in this world of ours. We pray for the needs of our world at this time. Father, we pray for the movement that is gathering pace that says everybody's life matters. Yes, black lives matter just as much as white lives or brown lives or lives from a variety of cultures. We all matter and we thank you, God. And we pray that we may use whatever small powers we have to help us each to realize the things that we need to be aware of to live in a world where everybody's life matters equally. We lift to you those who are sick at this time, those who are suffering and struggling from the COVID virus, for the staff dealing with it in the hospitals, for those who are struggling and fearful because their treatments have been stopped at the moment. Those who are in pain at this moment. Father God, give them the strength and the grace that is needed.
and just in the quietness, let's bring before God those that we know who are in need at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the church, universal. We pray for the church in this world and its needs. We pray for all who seek your goodness, Father, and for all who try to live according to your goodness whatever backgrounds and in whatever circumstances they are. We pray that you will give to those who follow you strength and grace, courage and resilience. We pray for our church in this country, for all leaders, for leaders of our faith, and leaders of other faiths who seek goodness, peace and love with one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the life at St. Wilf's as we're beginning to be able to go back into church if we wish to pray quietly for the community for the friendships the joy and the shared pain that your people together at St Wilf's share and we pray once again for Phil for Daisy and for Ben and Rachel as they look towards their new future together. Father, be with them in your church, just as we know you will be with us. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for today. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you grant us the help of your grace that in keeping of your commandments we may please you both in will and deed through jesus christ your son our lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever. Amen. We just take a moment as we come to pray together the prayer that Jesus himself gave to us. So, as he taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. We say together, Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May this day be rich in blessing for us all. Go in his strength. Amen.